J-E-L-L-O. The Jell-O program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston and Phil Harris and his orchestra. The orchestra opens the program with Right or Wrong from Happy Go Lucky. ready? Those three words are certainly welcome words when you're hungry, but they're doubly welcome when followed by these three words, Jell-O for dessert. A good dinner that ends up with a generous, delicious helping of Jell-O always makes a hit with everyone. For Jell-O is so colorful and at the same time so refreshing that it's a perfect dessert. Good looking, grand tasting, and inexpensive. Jell-O is first in favor because it's first in flavor extra rich fruit flavor that no other gelatin dessert in the world can equal. And all six jello flavors, strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, and lime, come from fresh, ripe fruit. That's why jello brings you such added richness and goodness. But remember, there is only one jello, so be sure to ask for it by name. Get the real thing. Insist on genuine jello. Gentlemen, we bring you a man who has a child, had whooping cough, measles, and violin lessons, Jack Benny. Hello again. This is not Jack Benny talking. So who do you think it is? Now guess. No. No. Give up. It's me. And a nice folks. Wait a minute, Mary. Wait a minute. What's the idea? Well, I don't see Jack standing around, so somebody had to jump in. Do you know where he is, Don? No, but he can't be very far. He left his shoes here. <laughs> uh, maybe he's breaking in a new pair of socks. <laughs> oh, here comes Kenny. Oh, Kenny? Yeah? Do you know where Jack is? I don't even know where I am. <laughs> you can get three to one on that. <laughs> Gee, I hope nothing's happened to him. Say, hey, Mary, did you notice that Jack's been acting kind of strange all week, sort of jittery-like? Yeah. This afternoon, he handed me a glass of milk, and it was malted before I could grab it. <laughs> Why, he goes around with a violin under his arm and keeps muttering to himself. What's wrong with him, anyway? He's got a bad case of Fred Allen. He has? <laughs> is it catching? No. Hello, kids. What's the trouble? Oh, Phil, uh, do you know where Jack is? Sure, he's in the next room, practicing his violin. Oh. oh. He's been in there all day, rehearsing that number called the B, and with the door closed, too. <laughs> well, that helps. <laughs> Open the door, Mary, and call him out here, please. Okay. <laughs> hey, close that door. Don't worry, we will. Uh, what are you doing, Jack? What am I doing? What's this I got under my chin? Another chin. I mean, under both of them. I'm practicing the B. Say, I thought you said you could play the B when you were a kid. Well, I could. But a lot of honey has gone over the dam since then. <laughs> oh, boy, that's a pip. Did you get it, Kenny? Not yet, but I will. <laughs> well, keep right after it. It's a hot one. <laughs> Darn that violin. And Fred Allen, too. Anyway, you fellas go ahead with the program. And, Kenny, get ready to do your song. I want to perfect my cadenzas. Telegram for Jack Benny. Uh, take it, Mary. I'm busy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, isn't this wonderful? What? On account of your violin, they've renamed a town in Florida after you. Oh, yeah? What's it called now? Off Key West. <laughs> Is that so? Hmm. Let him stay in there. We can get along without him. I heard that. These door slams come to you through the courtesy of our sound effects man who works for the National Broadcasting Company. 
over whose network we broadcast each and every Sunday night, bringing you good news about Jell-O. Thank you. And now Kenny Baker will sing that currently popular hit, I've Got You Under My Skin. Uh, wait a minute, Kenny. I just thought of a swell joke you can pull on Jack. Yeah? What is it? Well, you tell him you're going to sing a number dedicated to his violin. Yeah? And when he asks you what it is, you say, I've got you under my chin. Oh, boy. Will he laugh? Sure he will. Call him out. <laughs> Gee, that's a pip. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, Jack. <laughs> yeah? I'm going to do a song dedicated to your violin. Now you ask me what it is. All right, Kenny, what is it? <laughs> cheek to cheek. <laughs> mm, what a dope. Yeah, he didn't get it at all. <laughs> you better sing, Kenny. <laughs> was I've Got You Under My Skin from the motion picture Born to Dance, sung by... Never mind, Don, I'll take it. I'm through practicing. That was Cheek to Cheek, sung by Kenny Baker. I didn't hear it, Kenny, but I imagine it was very good. How was it, fellas? Oh, I did a great job, Dick. Good, uh, I knew it would be. Thanks, Jack. Yeah, of course, I suppose Fred Allen will go around saying you can't sing. Well, can I? Yes, can I. But he picks on... <laughs> <laughs> but he, he picks on everybody, especially when they have talent. Take my case, for instance. Oh, uh, hold on a minute, Jack. I never heard Fred say anything detrimental about you or anyone else. Neither have I. Oh, I suppose you didn't hear him say that when I was ten years old, I had my violin in a pawn shop. Well, didn't you? That's not the point. <laughs> it was years later. And another thing. <laughs> Alan isn't even his right name. You know that, Mary, don't you? Is Benny yours? <laughs> and another thing. <laughs> he should be the last one to talk. His product's only got one flavor. Wow! Zoe! 
<laughs> Let him top that one, Lou. Yeah. What happened? Nothing, but it was loud. <laughs> oh, Jack, I noticed in today's paper where Alan is coming out here to Hollywood to make a picture. Oh, he is? Well, uh, that won't cause me or Gable to lose any sleep. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> you keep out of it. <laughs> right away, he's a Gable. <laughs> well, all I can say is good luck to Mr. Allen and pictures. Of course, there's a limit to what a makeup man can do. <laughs> Oh, Mary? You ought to know. Yeah. Well, let's drop the subject. I don't care who's coming out here to make pictures. Nobody worries me, especially Alan. Yeah, then what happened to your fingernails? I was hungry. <laughs> now, let's go on with the program, Eve. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to present an original... Come in. Mr. Benny? Yes? I want to take this opportunity of wishing you and your company a very, very happy new year. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm getting tired of this. Who are you, anyway? Just a dreamer. Aren't we all? <laughs> Goodbye. I thought it was Oscar the Flea there for a second. <laughs> well, somebody will throw a net over him. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as I was saying, we are going to present an original... Hey, Jack. Yes, Phil. I meant to tell you my mother and sister got in town yesterday from Mobile, Alabama. Oh, from Mobile, eh? I wish it was Montgomery. Our sponsor comes from there. <laughs> the club. You know, it was kind of a surprise visit, and I'd like to have you and the rest of the gang come over to the house tonight and meet them. Oh, we'd love to, Phil, but we can't go until the program is over. Oh, you go ahead. I'll join you later. No, no, no. The program comes first. Oh, by the way, here's a snapshot of Mom and Sis. Oh, let's see it. Say, your mother's a charming-looking woman, Phil. And, well, so that's your sister. Hmm, you know, she's real cute. Wow. What's her name, Phil? Lucy Bell. Lucy Bell? Is she married? No, not yet. Well, as long as your mother came all the way out here, maybe we ought to leave right away. Huh? Well, of course, my sister made the trip, yeah, too. You're telling me. <laughs> Have you got a brother, Phil? No. Oh, well, I'll come anyway. Uh, sure, come on, let's go. Say, have we got any horses left over from our Buck Benny play? Sure, they're over there in the corner. Well, then we're all set. Let's ride them over. Don, you take care of the musical numbers, and we'll see you later. Okay, Jack, leave everything to me. Come on, fellas, untie those horses. <laughs> you look almost like horses, boys. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Every, everybody all set? Yippee! Wait a minute. Kenny, turn around in that saddle. You're facing the wrong end of the horse. What horse? Never mind. Come on, gang. Yippee!
That was Good Night, My Love from the picture Stallway, played by the orchestra. Well, now, folks, as long as everyone's gone, I might as well tune you into Phil Harris's house and see what's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Benny, it sure is a pleasure to have you all here tonight. Well, thank you, Mrs. Harris. I hope you're enjoying your stay here in California. Sort of a surprise visit, wasn't it? Yes, uh, we were going to Alaska, but the weather here seems... Uh, 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 be careful, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? A man from the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, <laughs> oh Kenny, uh, this is Kenny Baker, Mrs. Harris. I'd like you to meet him. Oh, son, I've been listening to you all for a long, long time. And I sure am glad to make your acquaintance, sure enough. What? Never mind. <laughs> oh, Mary, uh, Mary, uh, Mrs. Harris, I want you to meet Mary Livingston. Too. Well, well, little Mary. How are you all? All of me are fine, thank you. <laughs> How's your gang? Mary. Well, Jack, how do you like my mom? She's all right. I can understand now how she has such a nice son and charming daughter. Gee, I'm hungry. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> You know, uh, Mrs. Harris, uh, Kenny is always hungry. But I can imagine why, with that delightful aroma coming from the kitchen, I wonder what it is. Smudge pot roast. <laughs> why? why, that joke's only good in the West anyway. <laughs> uh, you know, Mrs. Harris, Kenny, oh, Kenny! What? Put that goldfish back in the bowl. Well, I'm hungry. Well, throw it back anyway. <laughs> what happened? He forgot to let go of the fish. Mm, too bad he can swim. Huh? Say, Phil, uh, where's your sister, Lucy Bell? Oh, she'll be down in a minute. You know, I saw her picture. I wonder what's keeping her. Maybe she saw your picture. <laughs> Don't be funny. Hey, Jack, here comes Lucy Bell now. Oh, boy. Stop shaking. Who's shaking? Come here, Lucy Bell. I want you to say hello to Jack Benny. Well, how do you do? Oh, this is show a pleasure, Mr. Benny, and I'm just tickled pink to meet you. Well, I'm tickled pink too, Lucy Bell. <laughs> you know, Phil showed me your picture, and it doesn't flatter you one bit. Oh, are you cowboys just say those things? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I mean that. You know, Phil, your sister is sweet enough to eat. Too. Better keep her away from Kenny. Quiet. <laughs> Oh, Lucy Bell, this is Mary Livingston. Well, Mary, I show sure am tickled pink to meet you. I'm tickled pink to meet you, too. <laughs> That's tickled pink. Oh, pardon my northern accent. Hmm. <laughs> oh, sis, that young man climbing out of the goldfish bowl is Kenny Baker. Oh, Mr. Baker, I show sure am tickled pink to meet y'all. Thanks. Have you got a towel? <laughs> Kenny, go over by the fireplace and dry up. Well, Lucy Bell, I, I hope you're... I, I hope you're, you're enjoying your stay here in Hollywood. Eh? Oh, I so am. And it's been a real thrill seeing all the movie stars in person. Yeah, I imagine so. <laughs> uh, tell me, who are the favorite movie stars down your way? Oh, Ann Southern and Dixie Lee. Well, I can understand that. <laughs> Coast, we like Carolina Lombard, too. Oh. You like Georgia Raft and Charleston Butterworth? Uh-huh. You know, I make pictures, too. You do? Well, hush my mouth. <laughs> Suppose I'll have to change my name to Jacksonville, Benny. <laughs> yeah, and I could be Maryland Livingston. Maryland. And I could be Kenny Tucker. Kenny, throw a log in the fire and don't let go. <laughs> You know, Mr. Benny, I thought you were just a radio actor. Really, I did. Well, I dabble in it a bit. Uh, do you like radio, Lucy Bell? Yes, I just adore Fred Allen, don't you? <laughs> well, yes, I do. Personally, I prefer the more subtle type of humor. <laughs> Well, I think he's just grand. Well, everyone to their own taste. Of course, he doesn't come from the South, you know. <laughs> but, uh, Lucy Bell, you know, before you leave town, we'll have to step out together some evening and take in a movie or something. Oh, yes? I just love that, Mr. Benny. 
You know, I saw an elegant picture this afternoon. You did? What was it? Bean Crosby and Candies from Birmingham. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is good. Uh... Oh, Jack. What? I know another swell picture she can see. What is it? Lloyd's of Memphis. <laughs> Go sit down, will you? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> what are you doing, Kenny? I'm reading the funnies. <laughs> That's the family album. He's still right. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Baker, hand me that album. I want to show you folks some pictures of Phil when he was a little boy. Oh, Lucy Bell, don't do that. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. You know what they used to call Phil when he was a baby? What? Filthy lamb. <laughs> Filthy lamb. <laughs> Filthy lamb. <laughs> Boy, that's rich. You should laugh. Yeah. Remember what they called you when you were a kid? Mary, quiet. Dinky pie. <laughs> <laughs> that's so. Oh, uh, here's a picture I wanted to show you. It's our favorite. Which one? Right here. Right here? Mm -hmm. It's right Phil here. when he was three weeks old. It was taken on our plantation down south. Oh, sis, don't show him that one. Gee, Phil, <laughs> three weeks old. You haven't got much clothing on there, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Mary, what are you laughing at? Southern exposure. Oh, <laughs> Answer the door, Phil. I bet it's Don Wilson. Hello, everybody. Hello, Don. Hello. How are you? Hiya, folks. Why, Andy Devine, what are you doing here? Why, Jack, Andy dropped in at the studio, so I thought I'd bring him along. Oh, sure. I hope I'm not intruding. And uh, Mrs. Harris, this is Don Wilson, and this is Andy Devine. How do you do? Glad to know you. Uh, Lucy Bell, get the gentleman a cough drop. <laughs> Uh, don't bother, Mrs. Harris. He always talks like that. Uh, oh, boys, this is Phil's sister, Lucy Bell. Here it comes, folks. I show sure am tickled pink to meet you, boys. I told you so. Mm -hmm. Gee, if I'd have known this, I wouldn't have got this haircut. <laughs> oh, you look all right. <laughs> Control yourself, Andy. <laughs> Now, I, I don't like to impose on you folks, but you're all so talented. Uh, why don't you give us a little entertainment? Well, Mrs. Harris, your son sings a pretty hot song. How about having Phil start the ball rolling? All right, come on, everybody. Where's the piano? Kenny ate it. I did not. Come on, Phil. What are you going to sing? Well, here's a copy of The Lovely right here on the piano. How about that? Well, what a coincidence. Who put it there? You did. Oh, all right. Come on. Hit it, fellas. Let's hear Phil sing the song. Come on, Phil. The night is long, the skies are clear, and if you want to go walking, dear, it's delightful, delicious, the lovely. Yeah. I understand the reason why you're sentimental, cause so am I. It's delightful, delicious, the lovely. Attaboy. You can tell at a glance what a swell night this is for romance. You can hear old Mother Nature murmuring low. Let yourself go, so please be sweet, my chickadee. And when I kiss you, just say to me, it's delightful, it's delicious, it's delectable, it's delirious, it's the limma, it's the limma, it's the loops, it's the lovely. That was good, Phil, really. Mary, how about you singing a chorus, huh? I will if Andy will sing it with me. Oh, well, I can't. I got a cold. Well, you shouldn't have got that haircut. <laughs> Come on now, no more coaxing, huh? Oh, wait a minute, Jack. We don't know the words. You don't? Here's a copy for you, Mary. Sing this. Oh, thanks, Don. I'm afraid of this, but go ahead. Come on, both of you. Mary and Andy, hit it, fellas, will you? Oh, wait till you get a load of this. When you're dining out and order be stew, be sure and have some jello too. It's delightful, it's delicious, it's so lovely. <laughs> and if you're out real late at night and want something that's very light, it's the swallow, <laughs> it's the mellow, it's the lovely. It is easy to make. 
You can watch it quiver and just see it shake. You can hear Mother in the kitchen murmuring low. Let yourself be. And <laughs> be. And when I serve it, just say to me, it's the strawberry. It's the raspberry. It's the cherry. It's the orange. It's the lemon. It's the lime. It's the nuts. It's the lovely. <laughs> Well, I can even forgive Don. Well, Mrs. Harris, it's getting kind of late, and I, I think we'll have to be going. Oh, I'm sorry you have to leave so soon. You must come again sometime. Oh, we'll be glad to. Well, goodbye, Mrs. Harris. It's been delightful. Oh, thank you. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye boys. Goodbye. Come again. Goodbye, Goodbye. 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 Good night, Mrs. Harris. Good night, my boy. Kenny, put down Lucy Bell and go home. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> Lucy Bell, I stayed behind. I just want to say again, it's been a real thrill meeting you. It's been delightful, and you're just de lovely. Oh, Mr. Zanny, you say the cleverest thing. I do, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd love to have you come over to our broadcast sometime. Maybe next Sunday, huh? Oh, I just eat tickle pink. <laughs> Doesn't she get tickled any other color? <laughs> Don't mind her, Lucy Bell. Well, uh, uh, Lucy Bell, can I take you home? Well, well, I live right here. Oh, that's right. <laughs> well, goodbye, Lucy Bell. Goodbye, Mr. Benny. I mean, <laughs> Jack. Gosh. <laughs> well, goodbye. Ooh. Why don't you open the door? Do I know what I'm doing? <laughs> Come on, Mary. She, she called me Jack. Wow. <laughs> Everybody likes chocolate pudding. It's been a favorite dessert with all of us ever since the first time our mothers made it. It's a lot easier to make, and it's smoother, creamier, more chocolatey. And this is how simple it is to make. Just mix the contents of one package of Jell-O chocolate pudding with some milk, cook and stir over a low fire until the mixture comes to a boil and is thick and satin smooth. It only takes a few minutes. Then, after it's cooled, pour it into sherbet glasses, and there you'll have a superb chocolate pudding, the rich, old-fashioned kind that will make a happy impression on everybody who's lucky enough to taste it. One package of Jell-O chocolate pudding will make six delicious servings, and it sells for the same low price as Jell-O. Remember the name the next time you're at your grocer's, Jell-O chocolate pudding. That was the uh, last number of the 17th program in the new Lucy Bell, I mean the new Jell-O series. And I hope she'll be with, or you'll be with us again next Sunday night. I don't know what's the matter with me. Oh, Jack, pull yourself together. You're always letting some girl upset you. I'm not upset. You stop smoking your fountain pen. Hmm. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, at this time I would like to announce our program for next Sunday. As you all know, we have never been on the air during the month of July. And we have a lot of Fourth of July jokes which are just cluttering up the studio. Our janitor refuses to do anything about it. So therefore, next Sunday, January 31st, we will do our special Fourth of July broadcast. So listen in and try to keep warm at the same time. Good night, folks. <laughs>
The June delivery is from Red Hot and Blue. The Jell-O program comes to you from Hollywood over the Red Network of the National Broadcasting Company. KFI Los Angeles. You've been listening to the OTR Gold Network. Find more classic radio at otrgold.com.